Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a sprinting and stamina mechanic so you can hold left shift to sprint. When you are sprinting, your stamina will go down, and when you're not sprinting, your stamina will increase back up to the value you want. So, I did do this video before, a couple months back, like six or something. It was actually my first video, so I'm now just redoing it to make it a, I've improved a lot in how I'm making these videos and B, also the engine has updated since then. So this is just an updated version. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is to create our action mapping. And so to do that, we go to edit up in the top left, project settings, and then we'll go down to input down here, open the action mappings there, hit plus. And I'm just going to call this one sprinting. You can name this whatever you like. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'll set this key to left shift. Now the reason this is good is because then we can add multiple keys, for example if we're across multiple platforms or consoles or something, and you can also set up key bindings with this. This is just a lot more efficient than just getting a left shift key. So then we're going to close this and open our character blueprint, which for me is the third person BP, so that's third person BP, blueprints, third person character, although this is just whatever your character is, so it'll be third, first, or whatever you've named it. And then the first thing we're going to do in here is create a few variables. So the first one is, down here in the bottom left, we're going to hit the plus variable, this one is going to be called is sprinting or something along those lines like so and we want to keep this a boolean so which is a true or false statement and then the next variable so we get another one i'm going to call this stamina or whatever you like and this one is going to be an integer so it is a numerical value and we compile these we can then set the default values so is sprinting we want to keep as false stamina you can set this to what if you like i'm just going to set this to 80 as I want my max to be 100, so I want to start with just a little less so we can see. And actually, I'm going to make another variable as well, so hit plus variable again, and we will call this one max stamina. That way, it's just a lot easier for you to change your maximum stamina whenever you like. And again, compile, leave this as an integer, and I'm going to set this to 100. Put this as whatever you like, but I'd recommend 100 or something like that, as it just makes the maths a lot easier further down the line. So we'll hit compile, and then we'll find some empty space in our blueprint editor here. So I'll just go down here, I'll right click, and I'll get the action mapping we made earlier, which I called sprinting. So there it is, as you can see, this is the one that we created. So now what we're going to do is create a branch to see if the player has enough stamina to sprint. So to do that, we can hold B and left click to get a branch there. And as a condition here, we're going to get a greater than or equal to to check our stamina and max stamina. So if we just right click, get a greater than or equal to, which is this one here, and we want integer, greater than or equal to integer, plug the boolean into the condition there and so for our top value here we're just going to drag and drop stamina in there move this up here and we'll leave it like this so this is going to basically see if we have enough stamina so if we have more than zero stamina we're going to be able to sprint and actually i'll set this to one so it's more than or equal to one stamina it goes up so for the false here we're going to do nothing as obviously if we don't have enough stamina to sprint we're not going to sprint off of true this is where we want to actually set up our sprinting so here we're going to set is sprinting that we made earlier, set this to true like that. So you can just drag and drop that onto the true value there to set it and then tick it so it's set to true. And then to actually change our movement speed, we're going to get a reference to our character movement up in the top left. So you can just drag and drop that on there, drag out of it and set max walk speed like so. Plug that in there. And the default value is 600. So I just want to go double that. So I'm going to set this to 1200 like so and you can play around with this to get the perfect value for you this doesn't matter too much just basically 600 is the default walking value so set this to whatever you like and then off of the released key here from the input action for sprinting we're going to do this again so this is obviously when we're holding left shift it's going to do this and when we release left shift it will do the code down here so i'm actually just going to move this out a little bit like this move this up to give some space and then again, off of the released, we're going to set this again. So I'm just going to get another reference to character movement to keep it organized. Drag and drop down here. Set max walk speed once again. And like I said, the default is 600. So I'll set that back to 600 like that. Plug that into released like so. And then again, we'll set the sprinting. Set is sprinting to false. So plug it in there and just leave it unticked. So you could do this before just to keep it more organized. But it doesn't matter at all. It does the exact same thing. So now if we compile this and test it, so compile, save, minimize, and hit play, see that we're walking like this. If we hold left shift, we're now sprinting, we're walking faster, and we can go at the same speed if we let go. 
So we now have our basic sprinting mechanic all set up and working perfectly. So again, you can increase the speed of this if you would like by just changing this max walk speed value here. So increase or decrease. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to comment this. So I'm going to select hit C to comment. I'm just going to call this sprinting like so just to keep it organized again. And now we're going to right click into more space and get an event tick. And this is going to be to decrease and increase the stamina. And what event tick does is it runs this every single frame. So for example, if you're running at 60 FPS, it will do it 60 times every second. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get a sequence node so that we can come off of this event multiple times and run multiple lines of code. So you can hold down S, left click and get a sequence node there, like so. And off of then one, we're going to get another branch, which again is hold down B, left click, plug that into then zero. So this is the first thing we're going to do with the condition of is sprinting. So again, if we are sprinting, then it's going to do this. So plug that in there like so. And if they are sprinting, so off of true, we're going to, want to remove stamina. If they're not, we're going to want to increase the stamina or do nothing if the stamina is full. And so now we're going to put a delay in off of true and false. So it isn't doing this every single second. It's doing this however many times you want. 60 times every second, sorry. It's doing it how many times we want. So if we hold down D, left click, we can get two delays like this. Plug one into true, plug one into false. And we can set this delay differently if we want to later on. Sent off of true, up here off the delay we're going to get another branch, so hold down B, left click once again, plug that in there, and the condition we're going to get another less than or equal to, so drag out and get less than or equal to integer like so, and we want stamina in the top again, and one or zero in the bottom again like you had up at the top, so basically if we have more than or equal to one stamina it will decrease. So leave that at zero. So if we then have zero or less stamina, which we shouldn't get less, so basically if we have zero stamina, it's gonna stop sprinting and stop decreasing the stamina, basically. So if this is true, we're gonna drag off of true and get is sprinting again. So we're gonna set is sprinting off of true and set this to false. And then once again, get a reference to our character movement, drag out, set max walk speed, set this back to the default of 600. Meaning that if we don't have enough stamina, the player will stop sprinting and basically won't be able to sprint any longer. And then off of false, so if we are sprinting and we have enough stamina to sprint, we want to be decreasing the stamina. So again, off of false, we're going to set our stamina, so just drag and drop, set, plug that into there like so. And then out of this here, we're going to get an integer minus an integer like so. And we're going to get the stamina in the top value there like so. And the bottom we can leave as one or basically whatever you like. So if you want to decrease it by one, leave it as that. If you want to decrease it by five, put it as five. This value here is what you are going to be decreasing your stamina by. So this is this part now done. And again, you can change the delay for this as well. So if we say every one second, then basically if we are sprinting, so every one second, if we do have enough stamina, it's going to decrease one stamina from that. But if we don't have enough stamina, then it's going to stop us from sprinting. So now if we set up the regeneration of our stamina down here, so again, come off the false of is sprinting down here. And once again, we're going to set the player stamina, so drag that onto completed, do set like so. So again, drag out of the integer, but this time we're going to get an integer plus an integer instead of a minus with the stamina in the top value once again. And in the bottom, this is how much you're adding to. So you can leave this as one or five or anything. I'm going to put this up to three so that it increases faster than it decreased. So we're adding three each time. And so this should now be done. So essentially what this is doing is if we are sprinting, every second it is going to check if we have enough stamina. If we do, it's gonna decrease our stamina by one. If we don't, it will stop us from sprinting. But then if we're not sprinting, it's going to add three stamina each time. So I'll put this to one second again. So every second it will add three stamina to our stamina. Now you may notice we've missed something out here. Again, we haven't done this branch here. So if I just drag these out like so and then get another branch, so hold down B, left click, plug that into the delay there. The condition of this one is going to be integer is less than an integer like so. The top value is gonna be our stamina and the bottom value is gonna be our max stamina which we created earlier like so. So this is basically checking if we have enough stamina. So if our stamina is less than our max stamina, then we want to set our stamina to what we did earlier. So plug that in there like so. 
So now what this is doing is what we said earlier, but if we aren't sprinting, every second it's going to check to see if our stamina is less than our max stamina, and if it is, it's going to increase that until we reach our max, and it will increase it by three each time. So again, I'm just going to comment this, so select C, I'm just going to put stamina drain plus regen like that. Now to test, I'm just going to put some print strings down here. So if I get print string, you don't need to do this. This is purely just for me to test this out. So I'm going to plug that into the stamina there. Plug the stamina value in the spring. The string, sorry. So this is just going to print out what our stamina value is. And I'll do the same here. So now if we compile, save, minimize, and hit play to test this, you can see that our stamina is going up as we didn't have enough already because I set it to 80. So now it's gone to 101. That's just because I increased it by three each time. But you see it has stopped. So now if we're walking around, nothing happens. But if we are sprinting, our max walk speed increases and our stamina is going down every second by one, like so. So the stamina is draining perfectly. And then if we let go, we go back to our normal speed and the stamina is increasing perfectly as well. So now if we set our stamina to something a bit lower so we can test to see if it stops draining. So let's set it to five. We try this again, if we run, you see it's going down, and when we reach zero, it should stop decreasing. And let's test that out now. Perfect, it's got to zero and it stopped, and we are now no longer sprinting. And as we aren't sprinting, our stamina is going back up, and now we can sprint again. So this works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. We set up our sprinting mechanic, and we've added stamina to drain and regen as well alongside this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.